Hello everyone, last couple of videos I've been performing Vagwanegum, which is the form that I've been practicing for more than 15 years for now. Um, what is that? So Bhagwajan is traditional Chinese uh, martial art, but I'm not doing martial arts. I'm doing that for healing purposes, uh, like improving the health, uh, improving the life quality in general. So this is more like a Qigong for me, uh, rather than martial arts. And Neigong translates as in work, or you may also think of it as in engineering. So unlikely the external types of arts, like like martial arts, for instance, where you have uh, many different forms, many different techniques. With the inner work, you have the same form uh, that you do for years, and within that form, you may work out different aspects. And one of the most important aspects in Bagua John in general is obviously a footwork. So Bagua Sap, the step that you use to walk the circle consists of four steps and in this video I'm demonstrating all the four steps starting with the very first one which is called the empty step. The empty step I would say is the very soul of uh, Bhagwajan footwork and the idea is that you always uh, find yourself with the rear leg. So unlikely the casual way of walking you usually run forwards go into the front leg on the contrary with the, with this exercise what you need to do you need to uh, keep uh, the weight in the rear leg so i lower the chi so essentially just uh, sit down a little bit and then uh my right leg is full my left leg is empty okay again so right leg is full left leg is empty and I crawl from beneath I'm not jumping from above I'm just going down uh, this is the empty step and you see it just stretches the leg is stretching and I don't have weight in the, the front leg and because I don't have a weight in the front leg this is called an empty step so all my weight goes to the rear leg but again uh, they don't call it like weight they rather call it like uh, what is empty and what is full so empty lag the for the front lag is always empty so this is the exactly the same step but uh when i do this step while well, circle walking so you can start with walking the straight line when you feel comfortable with that you can then try to do the circle walking how to form a circle is another interesting topic which i will cover in the very end of this video but for now this is just the empty step that being performed on a circle there are more aspects to uh, the steps in Bhagwajan but this one is the most basic it fits uh, the purposes of improving the health and life quality in general so this is my favorite step and when I practice uh, on my own I emphasize this step essentially i don't do anything else but this step uh in terms of i may do some forms additionally but internally the specific uh type of inner work that i'm doing i'm doing this empty step which uh helps to come down generally and like stop running that's the very gist behind it stop running okay but uh there are other steps uh that um also involved within the Bagua step. So this one is called follow the toe. So imagine the car that has uh, the wheels, the dry wheels uh, behind, the rear wheels are the dry wheels. This is not the case, but if the front wheels are, are connected to the drive, this is the case for this particular step. So imagine that in my toe I have a little wheel and there is a little engine and this engine drives me so I just uh, like going forwards so the principle of the empty step is the same but apart from the empty step I'm adding this tiny little effort to go forwards so my toe like pulls me forwards so I'm using my toe to pull my entire uh, body forwards that's 
the main idea. So unlike with the previous step, this step involves uh, more of what is known as yen. So yin yen are uh, like principles. Uh, so yin is more like calm. Uh, yen is more like active. So this gives the active part to uh, the step. Because uh, without this uh, kind of effort, it would be quite hard to actually work the circle. Even when I do the bare empty step, this principle of slightly going forward still appears uh, there. It might not be seen that nicely, but anyway, uh, so all these steps being shown in this video, I do them all internally. They might not be seen that nicely because I personally emphasize the very first, the empty step, because I like it a lot, because it fits my particular needs. Because, like, why am I doing this generally? So, you see, like, I'm just going into the two. I'm using my uh, pointer fingers to uh, show how the motion goes, how the chi flows, essentially. So... I'm just going forwards, forwards like this. So this is the same empty step, but with a slight um, emphasis on going forwards. So stepping into the toe, that's another name for this uh, kind of step. So it's like it might seem quite similar to what I've been showing previously with just the bare empty step, but this time it goes like a little bit more active than the previous. And uh, the full size body view are uh, essentially that's the same so the next step would be uh even more active uh i will talk about that just right in a minute so essentially we have uh one single step but uh the level of activeness if i can call it that way is changed so you may perform bug or step with more yin or more yen so with more yin, you have the benefits of practicing yin. With more yen, you have the benefits of practicing yen. So depending on what your goals are, you may choose the way how you want to step. So since I'm not looking for martial arts at all, I'm doing the very the most yin part. And this one is the most yen part. So this is more likely to be used for martial arts. Uh, the application behind this step is to break opponent's leg, essentially. If you hit opponent's leg uh, very low into the joint, it may be broken. So that's the martial application behind this step, like why this, they do this sliding on the ground. Essentially, this step is just like the previous one, but uh, it puts more emphasis into stepping forward. It's like uh, very... Mm, straight, very, uh, like, emphasizing this very toe or effort, I would say. But essentially, this is the same step, just a bit shifting emphasis towards more active yen, uh, this kind of thing. And again, apart from the martial application, the idea is that it might sound a bit like a paradox, but although the weight always finds itself in the rear leg, still, uh, when I step forward, the forward leg be becomes the rear leg once I step in there. So once I step in to the forward leg, it becomes the rear leg. So that might sound a bit like, uh, like Zen paradox, uh, but essentially this is why it is. So you just uh, keep... Uh, finding yourself in the rear leg and uh, this prolonged sliding or gliding step, it just makes a transition uh, so that the empty front leg suddenly becomes the rear leg. I don't know, maybe this explanation doesn't quite make sense, but essentially I just want to give you an idea that all these three steps are like one single step and depending on your goals, you may want to put different emphasis i'm just uh, emphasis i'm just uh, showing all the possible variations so that you could 
uh, see what exists out there. And finally, this one is called BICO. Uh, BICO stands for open and close. Uh, it's not really, it's open and close, more like Kaiho. Uh, but BICO is uh, rather, I don't even know, but <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how to explain this. BICO is just BICO. But you can think of this as open and close. But this is not Kaiho, which is also referred to open and close, but those concepts are a little bit different. What is interesting about Baiko, apart from very uh, beneficial uh, things uh, regarding mental health, for instance, it allows uh, the actual circle walking itself. Because without Baiko, you would not uh, walk the circle. If you have this uh, turns like you're turning towards the center that's because of bico if you don't have bico you would not be turning towards the center so that's the general item now uh, it's quite important to put uh, the fit properly so the angles are now shown so hopefully you can see it's always 19 degrees between uh, the legs no matter if you uh, do by 19 degrees co 19 degrees by 19 degrees co 90 degrees and the front view so here i just show like uh, this 90 degree principle so no matter if, if i do by co so this is just for the sake of demonstration it's not practiced that way however this this might be treated as the separate uh exercise as well it might be quite cool the knees are tight as you can see no matter if i do one step or another the knees always become kind of tight and if i do by uh this is again this is the same empty step if i do co i do put some weight into that as well so co i put the weight i put the weight there by no weight so by is very light co is kind of heavy now, finally, there is a principle that is called the inner leg uh, forms a square while the outer leg forms a circle. So here I demonstrate that the inner leg uh, goes along the sides of the square while the outer leg uh, follows the radius of the uh, circle that is drawn around the square. So internally, there is the square. Okay, this is the side of the square, and this is the radius of the circle that bounds that square. Straight line and curve. Straight line and curve. Square and circle. And square and circle. And again, square and circle and the other way same so square draw in circle draw in square draw in circle draw in square draw in circle draw in square draw in circle and that's the reason why there are exactly eight steps uh in the bagua circle which is classics it also might happen that you may have like up to nine maybe up to ten uh steps in a circle i essentially don't count i just try to do things naturally but this is okay if you have like nine steps in a circle 10 is a bit more if you have more than 10 something goes wrong so no more than 10 and also you may have uh seven or six is like too narrow so seven uh, steps in a circle also might be possible it's better to try to do exactly eight uh, steps essentially you see this uh, circle that uh, appears on the ground so when there is no circle what I try to do I just do this uh, inner leg uh, draws the square outer leg draws the circle and if I do this for about an hour uh, this like a circle would appear on the ground and if you do this like for years then you will have a result that looks like the one that is shown in the video that's it from my side guys thanks for watching hope bugger footwork gets a little bit more clear now